All right, I'm just going to show you something here. Um, if you do a logo that has words in it or different shapes in it, you can you can put it all on a base plate, which I kind of have shown you, or you can actually connect things. I'm going to show how to do text here too. So if you ever want to type something, it's up here in the sketch tools, text, and you and you click in your you click in here somewhere, and it brings up a text box. I do CBA. Um, if you want to change the text, it's not like Word or Drive or Google Docs where you can just click. You actually have to highlight the text, then you can make it bigger. I'm going to make it 1.0 inches. I'm going to make it bold. All right. Okay. There it is. It's massive in here. It's always kind of random how it puts it there. But um, anyway, let's say I hit finish sketch. Right, you can actually extrude that text. Point five. All right, so let's say you did this and you traced it. If you have words, you can type, but you have to find a font that's close to whatever it is you're you're using. Um. So, if I was to three D print this, right, these letters are all floating. Well, the one way we did it was said to put a base plate on it. The other way is kind of a cool thing you can do. Um, you can start a sketch on the back. So, start 2D sketch, and those work planes don't pop up, but I can click any flat surface in here and start a sketch on it. So, I'm going to start a sketch on the B. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some little rectangles here. You know, uh, I, I want to make the thickness. Um, like, I don't know, 0.05 maybe? No, let's say 0.1. And then I'm going to do another one over here. It doesn't matter how far into the letters I go, you know, because it's just going to extrude up into them. Oops. I think you'll see what I mean in a second here, what I'm trying to achieve. Finish sketch, back to the home view, or actually, it's probably go here. <clears throat> I'm gonna extrude these. All right, I'm just gonna select them off first. I'm gonna make them real thin, like 0.05. All right, I'm not gonna extrude them that way. I'm actually gonna change the direction. And sometimes when you change the direction, it'll automatically try to make it. That's we got in there a few minutes. Uh, it'll automatically try to make it a cut. Right, I think. A few of you have encountered that. Jimmy encountered that. Ari encountered that. Um, sometimes when it does an extrusion, if it sees material in the way, it makes it a cut extrusion. Right? What you want to do is make sure it's a join extrusion. Then you hit OK. And now, if I was to 3D print this, it'll all be connected. You know? And now, it's kind of a solid thing. That's an alternative to doing the base plate. All right? So some of you now would actually have four depth layers in your designs because you already did three. Now by doing this thin, now you have four. Kind of just a little trick that we use. <clears throat> I've done that a lot of times with different things. Um, but anyhow, just a little trick. Hopefully that gives you a little tip. How to type text and extrude it and then how to think about connecting things.